Hey, hey. What's going on? Mm, you get a parasite. It, what? We haven't started playing yet. Mm, you can't just start throwing cards at me. Troublemaker. You can't just start throwing cards at me. That's not how we do things. Mm. I rolled a seven. This is pure chaos. I don't know why they send us games. <laughs> Uh, Time Baller, Phantom, hello, 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 everybody else that is in here. Tabletop Avatar is sponsored by Lucky Duck Games in February. Lucky That's, Ducks? That is coolness. So, I know our Moobot has already said that we have a giveaway going on, and you get two entries if you uh, donate to Extra Life. If you go into our Discord... I should put it on Facebook, too. I didn't think about that. Yeah. If you go into our Discord in the gaming section... We've come up with a few different names to name our Extra Life group this year because uh, Ryan of the Whole Party is not going to uh, be the the leader this year. Uh, we're technically the leaders. So we wanted something to include everyone that would like to join our Extra Life. Yeah, so you guys get to have a vote in what we name our team. Yeah. So uh, we probably will keep it that way until the end of time. Yep. Can you guys hear me okay? Because the box is in the way. I don't know if it's blocking I'm my... Sorry my voice or not um so yeah so we haven't set it up yet we need to uh, but we need to okay cool yeah we have not set it up yet um we're a month behind it's yeah february yeah so we're a month behind so we have to do some extra crazy crap yep to make up for like that stand in your head yeah like doing cartwheels on stream like paint your toenails wearing a dress Huh? Like paint your toenails. I will not do that. You barely let me paint your nails for that one stream. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't like the dog licking my arm and my hand, so, like, I have a thing with liquid on my hand. Like, I wash my hands all the time. I'm talking about, like, foreign liquids, like nail polish and, and dog slobber. Foreign liquids? And Chemicals? Pee. Tentacles are not liquid. They are a solid mess. Is that why you don't like my tentacles? I don't know why. Um, that's not tentacles, Mick. That's not, that's not tentacles, Mick. <laughs> so, um, earlier this week, we um, went to a board game swap meet. And Saturday. We, yeah, Saturday, and we sold some stuff. I made 70 no I made $80 you did you, you banked on that one um 15 went to the child you did for and, a birthday present yeah and we traded a couple of games for another game so we're sort of getting some experience in doing that stuff so maybe we'll take a shot at doing that at the conventions <gasps> I have no more games I want to get um, rid of now. Well, no, I'm not saying this one that we're going to. Oh, like okay, in the good. future, in the future, future. Um, I did all the pricing myself. Yeah. Put the little stickers on it, and you were proud of me. Yeah, it 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 takes a little bit to actually sell oh, games. Time roller voted on what he wanted in the Discord. Let me go see. I, I saw something. It's a whole different beast than doing this, talking to people on stream. When you're talking to someone who's trying to buy something off of you and you try to keep their attention and get them excited for the purchase, you know? Time Roller says one vote for magical meeples. Ooh. So we have memorable meeples, magical meeples, motivated meeples, and generous gamers. I thought that was cute for Gigi because of the alliteration. Generous gamers would be Gigi. Or you could... Do something with an M and a G for our channel name, too. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not just going to be our channel. I want other people to yeah, join what about, the team. Yeah, but I mean, like, like something like Meeple Gifters or Meeple Givers or... Uh, I'm always like, I like M and M's, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um... I don't so, know. I like alliteration. That's why I was going with those. Nah, I mean, that's things. fine. It, I'm fine with whatever. You told fit. me to come up with something, and yeah. I thought other people might want to help us too. Meeple pirate takers. <laughs> Meeple no, pirates. because it's for charity. We can't be takers or givers. Yeah. Um. So we ended up spending all of Saturday there. 
Yeah, we were there from like one until eleven. One o'clock until eleven at night. So, we played Mansions of Madness. Yeah, and I was exhausted. I know. I'm sorry. Um, take from the opponents and give to the needy. That's perfect. Yeah. See. <laughs> Hi, kid. Reverse pirates. Um. No, that's reverse crab popper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so good news. Well, maybe good news. Sort of. I don't know. Uh, Tantrum Con sold out. Yeah, Tantrum Con is officially sold out. No more badges available. So if you missed your chance, then I'm sorry. You know that we can sneak you in. That's the booties. We'll, we could sneak you in. We'll play. Somehow. We'll put a table outside near our car, and we can go outside and play with you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's <laughs> a thing. Would you like a? Uh, what do they call? When you do it in the parking lot of a Hellgate? football game, yeah, this is the board gating. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do some board gating. Well, it's funny that um, AJ and Kelly wanted to do the table flipping, but like it was all booked up. AJ's like, "We're gonna bring our own table and flip shit in the parking lot." Yeah, we could do that. I was like, "Let's do it." The parking lot's big enough. This be would it fit in my copy of every day? What? What would? You would. I would. Oh. He's saying that the, the, oh, oh, your, his copy of Everdell is yeah. huge. It's probably the one with all the um, expansions on it. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, so so that sold so out. We sold games. We sold games. And we played games, and Tantrum sold out. Yeah. Um. We and also, we got coloring books today. Yeah, we also <laughs> got in some brand new games that we're gonna uh, show you sometime soon. It's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> everything that we're talking about is in our events. We've already planned it yeah, all out. Everything is getting planned by her, so I don't know anything unless I go into Discord and look. Which I probably should. Yeah. But uh, I think that's about it for stuff we did this week. Um, yes. Yeah. I think they're going to be sending out some stuff this week hopefully uh, because we're way behind on that well the one thing we get to bring to tantrum with us yeah so that's we, one we still thing. got a whole bunch of other stuff that we i still need to send karen's stuff. christmas gift yeah so behind no karen understands she loves me yeah <laughs> other than that i think we've been doing good we've got a really cool um game king of 12 by lucky duck games um i watched a video of this and learned it i read the card probably a minute and a half it's it's pretty um pretty easy and pretty quick so i would say that this is definitely a filler game so if you're out there playing with other people you can bring this to actually show someone how to play play it while another board game is getting set up that's how quick it is Angry, uh, oh, no. What? Oh no, Tiny. Oh, what happened? What happened? Somebody died. What? You have to go. Uh, that... I don't know. Why do, Why would you say that? Because that's what I imagined. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. We, there is a. Catan tournament over here in town on Saturday on Saturday. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I don't even like the game You played on Saturday. We did play on Saturday and guess what? He won. I won and there was me 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 through the whole game I and he complained still won. throughout the whole entire game the whole game The entire game see we don't get to play games with the store owners often because they're always working so you got to play one game with Patrick, and then we both played a game with Patrick, and then we got to play a game with Jamie. What was that one? That redneck life? Redneck life. If you look at my Instagram, that's the happy redneck sitting around the table playing redneck life. Redneck life <laughs> is it's literally the game of life, but it's a redneck edition. And it is stupid hilarious. So the winner is the person with the most teeth at the end of the game. Which is great for the town we live in. Um, and eventually in the game, there are certain points in the game where where it's 
things happen to everybody. So there's a stopping point as you go through the board. Oh, Phantom's played Redneck Life. <laughs> That's funny. Can't stick? It's not that bad. There's a Catan tournament at Tantrum Con, and I thought about seeing yeah, it. Yeah, Phantom's with me about Catan. I, it's not bad. I don't like it at all. I sit there. Mm. With other people rolling their dice, getting nothing. No time roll is not that bad. And I'm just like, I really hate sitting here <laughs> doing nothing. Well, maybe you should but, place your houses better. But Redneck Life is stupid hilarious. We did have a chance to buy it at the swap meet, but I decided not to because it's only the two of us here. I'm not going to play that game. Yeah, and you're not going to play it. Nope. I didn't play um, the time you played it. But if you get a chance to check it out and you have a large group to play with, it is a blast. It was hilarious watching you it guys It was play. a blast. And the names that you get from your kids to your wife to yourself and the stuff that happens on the chance cards. <laughs> oh my god. Misty lived in. No need to play it. I know. It is stupid It was hilarious. really funny when Drew was playing because he rolled for... A kid name, and the kid's name was Clyde, which is Hunter's dad's first name. So I had to laugh at that. That, what that was, was great. What was my second wife's name? Big, um, Big something. Big Marie? Yeah. Big Marie. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I ended up winning that game as well, which amazed me with a positive um, there bonus. There was a bunch of Daryl like, kids. Daryl's, yep. Daryl's. Yeah, so so that game normally isn't one, you know, having a positive um, score at the end. But I did get, I think it was like 39 points or something like that. Yes. Yes, Phantom. Yeah. Yeah. Those spaces where you win tons of money, but you can never get to those spaces because you have to roll two dice to move your your token and it's always after a stopping space where everyone has to stop no matter how much you roll and it's it's just it's chaotic it's chaotic it's funny there's the cars that come up are great and you get to choose you get to buy cars and buy houses well houses is a, a bit of a stretch you buy these redneck there was a toilet yeah it was an outhouse there was a toilet car too. yeah it was an outhouse car guy. and Oh my gosh. Of course, I picked the General Lee and I went into massive debt. I think it was like $4,300 in debt because of the houses and stuff. You had a good education, it though. Yeah, I had an 11th grade <laughs> education and I was making $460 a month. The, the one poor guy, he was a carny <laughs> and he kept getting like fire cards. Oh man. That was hilarious. Okay, but we can talk about all that. Like I said, I live here. I don't yeah. have to experience it in a game. Really great game. If you're interested in it, check it out. Let us know what you think. Uh, today, though, we're playing King of 12 by Lucky Duck. And here is our... Oh, can we announce one more thing? We did get our medal from Extra Life last year. Yep, that was our gold medal yeah. from Extra Life. We that have quite today. a few now. We do. Um... Now we're playing with some promo cards, which are the um, the fawn, and how do you know that? Yeah, the fawn is a promo card, and oh man, what the heck is the other one? We're playing with promo cards. Collectors, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the collector. We're playing with promo cards. There's two promo cards. I can't remember what, what the other one is, but I know one is the fawn. Um, the other one is probably the collector. I think it's that one. Okay. Um, but out of all of these, we're going to get to choose a couple of t uh, cards to play with, and we're all going to have the same exact cards while we're playing. Okay. Okay, so we're going to We gonna don't have... get to use all these cards? No, we're going to have the Aww. same okay. hand of... We're going to have the same deck of cards. Okay. And um, we're going to be playing through those cards each round. I want to play Troublemaker. No. Yes. The one card that is always a constant in every game is the Knight. So that is one card that we're going to use all the time. So uh -huh. that's going to be one. All right, and now Troublemaker. Um, we do have to pick... Um, Troublemaker. 
We have to pick seven cards, so this is one of the seven. There's Troublemaker. Do that one. Troublemaker? Yeah. Okay. Now, two of the cards have to have this blue symbol up here. Okay? So, Troublemaker does have it, so that's one. So, we need to pick between one of these two. The Oracle or the Sorcerer. Uh, Oracle. That's got a crow on it. You like Oracle? crows? Okay, so that's three. So we are we have the required two blue dice. That's on top. Um, what else? We've got uh, four more to pick. Collector. Collector. Okay, that's. That's four. Gambler. Three more. Gambler. That's five. We need two more. Two more? Yeah. Parasite. Parasite. And one more. Mm. Alchemist. The Alchemist. All right. That's a hand of seven cards. The rest are going to go away. All right, that's it. So each player has their own deck, and you can figure out who has what by the different color on the back here. There's a different outline. I have the white deck here, and you have the uh, black, I believe. Um, there's a lot of white on these cards. There's a lot that they could have filled in with color, um, but, I mean, it's fine. The artwork like is pretty it. cool. It makes the artwork pop more with the white background. Yeah, because if you had too much color, it wouldn't be great. White man's card? No. No. Okay, so uh, during game, we're going to be playing for these points here. Okay, mine. Okay, these are what we're going to be playing for. And the person with the most points at the end of the uh, first game is going to... Uh, win that whole game yeah all right if you win two games then you win completely you are the king of 12. okay okay i'm gonna put these to the side here i'm gonna move the whole thing yep put it to the all right so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna roll our dice so this blue orb of 12 here is our magical orb and we're gonna roll oh i got a two that's not good all right, so this is what this is what we're going to be playing with all round. Um, so we're going to be taking turns simultaneously. Okay, mm -hmm. first thing we're going to do is look through our deck, and we're going to choose a card to play. Ah, son of a Cthulhu! Son of a Cthulhu! Why? It's over there. Go get him. Do you need a huge campfire to play by? Why? What does the campfire have to do with it? Because you said you had the white elf. No campfire. Um, so during our turn, we're going to play one of these cards face down. And each of these cards has an ability on it. All right? So I've got a two here. That's not good at all. So there's a card that doubles your die value. There's a card that subtracts seven from your die value. There's dice around. Now we're in. You bet I'm gonna summon the master. Yep. There is a card that that lets the winner. Lets the winner actually lose mm -hmm. the turn. Your die is canceled. You are the winner. Um, there's cards that allow you to re-roll your dice or manipulate your dice, which are the ones with the blue and gray. Which we don't have any of the gray ones in this deck, but but you get what I mean. Every card yeah. has its own little power. You're dragging us out. I know. I'm. Not, <laughs> I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I, I really need a better number than two because that's not cool.
I don't really this card. Okay. What? My card. Now, once we play a card, we can't play that card again until the very next game. So, Brian, if you're on our Discord, if you go to the gaming section, I have uh, ideas for the Extra Life group name now, since we're not the whole card and friends anymore. So you can go vote if you want to. By the end of the week, we're going to have to choose. So. Okay, so I don't know if you want to play these like this, or you want to put yours here and put your card on top. My card. That's cool. Okay, so you've got that 10, I've got the 2. Now, if at any moment these two dice match in number, they cancel each other out. Yeah. So it's going to be weird in a two-player game when nobody wins. <laughs> but it's, I mean. it might happen. If these two cards are the same... It cancels out. They will cancel out and no effect takes place. And we'll just go straight to the uh, compare values phase. So we select it and play cards. Yes. Yeah, we're going to flip them and see if they match. Oh, and, and they do. They do. See, I was trying to help you out. They do, but you knew I was going to play that card. I did. Because I'm a dick. Because you're an a-hole. Oh, Phantom says uh, second magical meeple in the Discord. In the Discord, not the chat chat. Ooh, magical meeple. Okay. Looks like we're going to be magical so far. Magic meeples. Okay, so <laughs> the cards cancel each other out. Because, so now we just play another card. Because you suck. Huh? Now we'll play another card. No. Why? Because we have to go through <laughs> I the don't turn. Want to. We have to go through the turn flow here. Um, but it cancels the card. We can't perform our card effects because nope. they get canceled. So now we compare and cancel matching die values. Yep, they don't match. So they don't match, but you have the higher of the two. Yep. Um, so you score two points. Give me that. And I will score one point. And you win. All right. Hello, Jenna. Hey, Jenna. Misty is high. What? What? No. I'm low. All right, so we do not re-roll this dice. No, nope, play another at card. At the end of the turn. So these cards are completely done. We cannot play these again. So now we play another oh, card. Oh, was like a bit higher. Oh, you didn't say that. Misty, what the... I'm not! I'm not Ann. Ann comes in here asking. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what I picked. Make your own rule sounds good to me, says so Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> Misty, what are you smoking? That's what I say. Ann comes in here. And it's like I summoned her. Right. Okay. All right. Are you ready to flip him over? <laughs> Thank you, Ann. <laughs> uh, what in the freaking hell, man? Hello, Wim. <laughs> Are we ever going to get to any of these? No. Give me points, please. Wow. Okay. That's not cool at all. Starting to look like a game of go nuts for donuts. Yes. It, it, yeah. So I'm gonna be honest with you about this game. Um, from the way that I watched it played and the way that I'm reading it and how to play it, it's very easy to play. But at, not great at two. At two players, not a good choice. It's fine. Uh, you could play up to four. If we have two copies, you can play up to eight people. Yep. So, I feel like this is going to tantrum con with us. So it's good. Yeah, it, it won't be that bad. Okay. Finally, oh, something like different. Game. So you are subtracting seven from your dice value. Yep. So you don't physically do that. No? No. 
because it doesn't have this dice up here. So this 10 is really why wouldn't I change it, though? I'm not re-rolling it. I'm just changing it to what it's supposed to be. It just says subtract 7 from your die value. It doesn't say to change it. Okay. So that's important. You don't physically change the die number. Mm, okay. Okay. That's strange. You should Why? be playing two-handed. I know. We played this with the losers. This was fun. Oh, see? We have nice kids. Here in their piece. Do you not believe that you're not supposed to change the die? Why would I not believe? I said that's strange that you wouldn't change it if that's what the card said. No, it says subtract 7 from your die value. It doesn't say to change it. You play with imaginary numbers? A apparently. I'll go with it. Yeah. So... So I don't have a 10, but I do have a 10? No. At this point, this card is changing the value of that 10. Okay. To a, I'm never uh, going to remember. To a three. It's a three. You're still going to win if I roll another two. But my oracle allows me to roll my dice, and this effect occurs last. So, yeah, okay. so I do that now. Sorry, I forgot. Wow. Oh, look what happened. Look what happened. It's a ten. But I do win this round. Because your die is me, me, me. a three. How do you have points already? Oh, you have sympathy points? Yes. Second okay. place gets points. <laughs> First place gets two points. Uh, <laughs> game dead like sus. Mm-hmm. That was Cthulhu's roll, not mine, okay? But you still get one point. Mm. So right now you're at what? Five? Yeah. I'm at four. Uh, four so... All right, choose again. Now we're going to keep doing this until so we get... So am I 10 now, or am I a... You are a 10 now, okay. yes. Okay. So we're going to keep doing this until we get down to one card, and then we'll stop and count our points. So we're not going to play the last card. As far as I know. I picked a dumb card for us to play because... Oh, never mind. No, that's not dumb. I, beep beep. I know. So he has his bark box on currently, and in a few days his bark collar will be coming. But he sees a little child outside. Yeah. There's and a child. I do not like children. <laughs> yeah. You don't like children. I'm sorry. They, they beat you and eat you. Uh, come here. Come here. Pull it down like a good boy. I know. Come here. So, like I said, his new bark collar is coming in, in a few days. I think it shows up on Wednesday. I can't remember because you ordered it on your computer. But uh, it's got a vibrachy thing for the back of his neck. I don't want to do shock collars. No, I don't no like shockies. that part. So he got to have a play date with a dog across the street today. A vibrator for a dog? Yeah, pretty hmm. much. Hmm. But he got to play with his girlfriend across the street today, and he was very happy. And now every time he sees her outside, he's probably going to cry. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. Are we ready to flip cards over? Yep. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Probably.
They were butt sniffing today. All right. So the collector says, if your die is canceled, you are the winner. Mm -hmm. Player that would have been the winner is now the runner up. So this really plays better with more than two players. Yeah. Um, the gambler says this turn the winner is instead the runner up and the runner up is the winner so that switches mm -hmm. roles so um, at this point we are both losers yeah so the dials are counseling out yeah so those cards are completely useless yeah next <laughs> okay. next yeah, yeah he'll be the neighborhood no 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 he is sniffed and clipped <laughs> We cannot have he just upped his game. He, we cannot have any more little Leons running around. I will go insane. Um I think I'm gonna do this one. I, I love Leon to death, but I cannot have uh we all need something. I, I know. Uh I don't think I could have more than two Leons. Or more than one Leon. Um, I think you played the Alchemist this turn. Okay. Which means that no matter what I play, uh, it doesn't matter. This is true, Anne. He he can he can do that all he wants to. He can be a player because he ain't have no little stud Leon puppies running around. Wow. Yeah, they're trying to pimp out my dog. <laughs> they love Leon. You have no idea. Oh, boy. I, I misplayed that horribly. <laughs> that was that was not cool. Okay. So I'm subtracting seven from my value. So I'm at three. So you have to re-roll. Do you want? Yeah. Yeah, see, Anne loves Leon. I can't throw it that far. You want me to do it? Go in. Four. I'm going now. I want to see how I have fun. Uh, Jenna, I will play... Uh, I was going to say Kingdom Hearts for some reason. Uh, Mario Kart with you at some point, if you would like to. Uh, disregard that link. Move on. I forgot to turn that off. Yeah. Our link yeah. does not work. All right, Jenna, you have a good night. So I'm at three. You are at four. You wins by a one point. Yes, you too, Anne. I promise. I, I'm in my uh, my week of dying, so uh, that can be a thing. I can't remember what you played. Well, these all should be uh, common I know. knowledge. I figured. It's fine. Uh, I'm, I think we did the same. I'm hoping at least. Hoping, hoping. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh the gambler. This turn, the winner is instead the runner up. Yeah. Yeah, that one went. Okay, well, I mean, you won this one. Thank you. I went. Yeah. Um. And so the last. Yeah. So we're play. not playing anymore. After this, the round ends. Yep. Obviously, you uh, are the winner. I only have nine. Yeah. I want to be the king of 12. Yeah. I need more points. All right. So, so you do win this one. So yep. all players take the discarded cards they play this round back into their hands. Yep. Uh, players compare their point total. You win. Yay. All those players' points are... Um, if any players have the exact same number of points... As another player, all of those players' points are canceled as well. That sucks. Yeah, that would suck. That ain't the, 
It's not the thing right now. Yeah. So the winner of the round chooses one of their cards in their in their hand. Yep. And places it face down under their um, player card. So you would take your card and any of them and place it down like that. So that's that that signifies that you won a round. So I because I won, I lose a card. Yes. Yeah, do that. Yeah, because you won the round, you lose a card. Okay. That could be any card. So I won't have a card left when we play. Losers! Yeah, you'll have one less card. So yeah, the... so I'm going to play all my cards. No, not necessarily. If you have one less card... If you only have one card in your hand, then the round ends. So you're going to end the round faster. Oh, okay. I need that mug. What mug? Which mug? My mug? How are you? This <laughs> one? Can you even see this one? No. Poor game, Bree. What is going on? What mug are you talking about? It's not this one. Oh, she might be talking about Cthulhu. That's not a mug, that's a dice tower. I was like, there's no bugs on screen. I was confused. Yeah, I didn't think they could see that one behind my head. No, it's a dice dice roller. Dice tower. See? Yeah. It hates us. No, he likes us. Alright, all the points go away. Why? Because we don't keep the points. That's stupid. Yeah. Get my points. It does make it neater, but like yeah. I said, it's cursed. It's because I bought it. Okay. So, we're going to start the second round, mm -hmm. and we're going to roll our dice. I'll use Kafufu. No, I didn't make it. <laughs> I tried. Do you want to keep that number? No, I can't even see what it is. I love him. Can't keep that number. Okay, I can't see it from here. It's two. It didn't go on the Cthulhu head. Huh? Look at the... What's that? It's another 10. Oh, I win. That's broken. <laughs> broken. All right, so you got a 10, and I've got a 5. Okay. All right. So if you win this round, then you win the whole game. I'm playing on it. Okay. Not surprised that it is cursed. Um, we've had a lot of games with Cthulhu. And it's always been a character on the channel. Yeah. Because it, it it really has a mind of its own. He does sometimes. He does, yeah. Sometimes it's like, you know, I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to roll really good. And the other times it's like, I know you need this roll really bad. So it's only for you. I'm going to screw you. Cold as pirate, for sure. So yeah, Luza, Palooza, thank you for raiding. Yeah. What were you guys up to? What were you guys doing? Uh, oh boy, I'm cursed with roll, uh, low numbers here. So I don't know what the heck you're going to play. Uh... Okay, here we go. So this is your card. Mm -hmm. This is mine. If you play the knight again, just to cancel my knight, I'm gonna toss this dice you do you, back into Cthulhu. You do you. <laughs> All right. Oh, parasite. Wow. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Wow. This is insane. You know what cards I'm playing? <laughs> is this is is this wrong? Is this what's happening? No, I know. How 
All right, well, you subtract seven from your die value, so yeah. you're at a three. Yeah. My knight says this turn, the lowest die value is the winner. So, again, you win. <laughs> this game inspires so much rage in such a pretty tiny box. Yes. Speaking of tiny rage, there's a tiny child outside, so. Yeah, Bria, I mentioned that earlier. If you had two copies of the game, you can play with up to eight people. Um, man, I am just getting destroyed. He doesn't know how to play games. It only gets more chaotic at a higher player count. I can imagine. I bet you it's yeah. amazing. So after we play this, we're going to try to simulate a third player. Yeah. We don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to try it. Because at two players, it's a bit rough playing with just me and her. I mean, it's doable. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's sort of one-sided when you know what your other, what your opponent's going to be playing. She knows what I'm going to play. She's She knows exactly what I'm going to play. What? All right, Miss... Miss knows what the other person's playing. Let's go again. Why would you even pick first before I pick something? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> oh. No, no, we're cool. I know. So I'll go alert. I know. Sorry, we got doggo, doggo noises. I don't want the box bark or beeping on stream. He's like, I'm coming back now. He's, yeah, he's coming back. There's... Coming back with Benjamin. Come here, come here, honey. We gotta let Dad pick a card first, and then we're gonna pick, because Dad thinks I'm cheating. Would you like a good boy treat? Can mommy pick her card now? No problem, Brie. Um, we always do if we can find a logo that that fits. Yeah. Or that works. We try to. It's on our starter screen, too, when we start playing. Yeah. What did I play last? Okay. I don't know. You played the Parasite. Hmm. Now, like I said earlier, because she won the first round, the game will end quicker because she's going to have one less card. Jeez, everything's what moving. Was that? You silly butt. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Um, oh, I thought we played the same card. All players rotate their dice to the opposite side. Three. And I'm at an eight. Ooh. Right, that is the opposite of five, yes. Did you tell me? It is. Oh boy. No, he's good. I got him. So, um, guess what? I win? You, yeah, you won. Because the gambler says this turn, the winner is instead the runner up. The runner up is I the let winner. you put your card down and think and everything before <sighs> I did anything. Landslide. 
I mean, you pick the cards. I we can go back and let you pick a card. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'd probably lose anyway. No. Huh. <sighs> okay. I'm getting. I know. I know. I'm getting hustled <laughs> hard here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we take back cards now. Yeah. Yeah. Take them back. <laughs> <laughs> Just, this is insane. Uh, <laughs> I picked mine first. I tried to pick mine before, before you do, but it doesn't matter. You're still gonna precisely pick the right card. <laughs> Will you stop? No, I'm gonna meme me this whole thing. Oh, I really God. am. This turn, the lowest die value is. Oh, look, you got me mead. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. The, this turn, the lowest die value is the winner. The alchemist double my die value, so I'm at a 16, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> what? No. Wow. I'm really bad at this, apparently. That happens. Really, really bad at this. It okay. Wow. Pay for them points. <laughs> yeah. You play your card first. Okay. Because... Because I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to play. How many do you have left? Three? Three? Okay, so there's two more turns, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't see anything, which sucks. Oh, boy. Play this. I'm really, I'm, I really suck at this. <laughs> no, maybe, uh, maybe I could do better at a higher player count. I don't know. No. Uh, okay. So this turn, the winner is instead the run. <laughs> Damn it! Hello. I win today. You ended the game. You ended the game pretty much. I, I win. Yeah, you did. You, <laughs> you got eight points. <laughs> yeah, so either a player has only one card left in their hand uh, or a player has collected eight or more points in the round. So you did. So that that was quick. Oh, um, that for me. I win. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I had no chance. Hey, Misty win! Wow. Yay! Okay, I win now. Thank you. I, I don't even know what to say. Ah, uh, me, me, You me, literally me. outplayed me on every single freaking turn. <laughs> that wouldn't even help, Time Roller. Wow. You, boo. That is the worst I've ever played a game in my entire life. No, it's not. Name a name. Hanabi. Hanabi? No. <laughs> yes. No, this was clearly the worst game I've ever played of anything. Like, you literally outplayed me every single turn. It's because I play games. <laughs> That emote. What emote? Oh, I have two things. What is it? Ooh, that's pretty. The disco ball. The disco ball. I was about to count. Aww. All right. Well, I mean, you, you won the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry.
All right, we're putting the dog away. He just scares me way too much when he does that. Just out of nowhere, just barks. I mean, yeah, there's people outside, but it scares the crap out of me. You ever have, like, those mini adrenaline rushes? <laughs> like, having them over and over and over again? Just letting you know he's not going to learn not to bark unless his bark box tells him not to. That's why I was keeping him out today, so he learns. Well, I mean, he, he can learn when we're not streaming. Uh... Yeah. Oh. Your cat. <laughs> Did he scare your cat? Oh, yeah. um, oh, was this my card? Yeah, that was yours. Do you want to try to simulate a third player? Nah. No. No? No. You just want to take that win and run with it? Nah, uh, I don't want to hear you complain about the game. <laughs> That's why we have a second game. You said you weren't going to like it at two players. You warned me. A little bit, but my cat was being an a-hole. Aww. <laughs> no kitty a-holes. Leon has been good all day. Except when uh, Drew was at home, apparently. Dice. Did you do the emo Or not the emo. Um, What's it called? Logo for um, that one? Or are we just not going to do the logo for that one? No. Okay. Yeah. So that's King of Twelve. It's for sure better at higher player counts. No, because you're not gonna look at a higher player count either. At a higher player count, things will change more. Yeah, because I mean more often. It's it's good. People are gonna be playing different gonna cards. Have different, well, people will have different die roll, not just two. You warned me before we ever played it that two it was not gonna be good, and I no. knew you were not gonna like it. So, hey, Michael. Michael. Yeah, so two player not um not really a great player count for this game. Um it is a good game. It it yeah. plays like a couple of other games that we played. I like I mean this isn't trick taking, but it uh No it kinda reminds me of that because your cards mean different things. Yeah, we've we played games like that. Um I believe uh what is that pirate game we played? Smoking. Um no what pirate trick pirate game where where all the cards do different things when you play skulking them. i mean yeah but there's there's other pirate games out there okay, besides tell skulking me. i don't remember the name of it what do we have it on is it physical or digital i don't know if it's on digital i know it's there's physical copies of it no, I'm asking what we have it on. We don't have it on, but we played it. We play games that we don't own. That's why it was a digital. <laughs> no, me, me, I don't me, know me. if it's digital. Well, if we don't have it physically and we've played it, then we have it digitally. No, we've played other people's <sighs> games. Games that we don't own. What else is it? A game like that it's piratey it has pirates and you're um you're trying to uh keep your treasure but some people can steal your stuff with the cards and also um libertalia is the same way each card has its own ability and except that that's in turn order Steph. hey Steph. Hi. we just finished playing king of 12 you can call that playing a game with two player that was no game there that was you out <laughs> playing me every single time so the it was if you want to watch the replay of that there's some dog barking and drew going me 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 it is it's a really neat game yeah but playing it at like two I players said, is we can really bring it to tantrum con and yeah. play with four player and see if you like it then and if you don't then you can me me and we don't have to play it no more you gotta try to play it at least two times before you don't like a game. I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said two players. Would is, you like me is... to lose Hero Realm so you feel better? No, I'm saying <laughs> that two player is not ideal for that one. Yeah, and you said that before we played. Yeah. 
like before we got on stream, so I already know. But you, yeah. you, you're making everyone assume, or you're assuming that I said it wasn't a good game. It is a good game. It's on my new list. Whoops. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. uh, see, step doesn't go by that rule. What? Don't you don't go... play two games? I mean, if it was a really terrible playthrough of something, then I would. Oh, now you're going to go against your own rule. Yeah. I mean... You forgot hmm. the, um, cards. My cards. No, that's fine. Just throw them across the table. Uh, I'm trying to think of a game that we've played that I would never want to play again. <laughs> One and done for Well, like that's how you have to game. play all of your games, Steph. You're a professional. <laughs> The Michael's the same way. Michael's also a professional. I mean, I'm a professional board game player. We've played our games more than one time, though. They have to play a game one time and not fall in love with it. Because they can never play it again because they have 50 new games to I play mean, that week. I mean, we could play one game and not ever play it again, but... I don't play games that way. Yeah, I mean, I don't do that either. Well, now you have to play every game at least 50 times so we can get in. I, I know. Wait, That's what I'm trying. Yeah, 100 by 100. <laughs> we play a lot of BGA stuff, so. Mm -hmm. I've definitely been keeping up with my stuff. I added another game today that I hadn't played before, and I played it three times. This is on my, it is on Steph's list as well. Yeah, we've got, um... We got a, another new game from Saturday, uh, the one I played with Time Roller on his channel. Yeah. I, I, I can't, I never remember the name of it, but it's one of those heist games. Big score. Big score? Mm-hmm. It comes with that big um, bank vault, cardboard tower. I think it's called the big score. Oh, yeah, Time Roller, yeah. Yeah. Steph says, I like Hero Realms, but Star I like Star Realms more. Oh, God. I was like, they're not going together. <laughs> the thing is, uh, no, not Burgle Bros. Not Burgle Bros. Big score. Big score, yeah. So like hopefully we'll get to play that one soon, too. Um, I already played it with Time Roller, so I know it's fun. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, you know we have it. Of course you do. Um, not you, my dog this time. <laughs> not my dog. Who you gonna play as? I'm gonna just stick with the fighter. We um, got um, we got that game like you were saying at the the swap meet this weekend. We traded two games for that game. Yeah. I don't remember what we have anymore. We've got a thief. I'm playing as the uh, the fighter. There's a thief. Oh, that's right, because these are these cards, aren't they? Um, there's a ranger. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I sold, I mean, it's nothing compared to you, of course, stuff, but I sold $80 this weekend. So, I was happy. Those are these. Yes, yeah, so we've got, uh... We have green and blue, like all the regular colors. Yeah. Okay. And these are these. I'm, I'm fine with whatever. What did you pick? Um, I picked the, uh, fighter. I always pick the fighter. So there's a thief. And there's an archer. Uh, thief's fine. I think I've played that one before. Thief? Okay. I mean, well, I've played I mean, all of them before. It's not Archer, it was a Ranger. Yeah. There you go. So these were all of the uh, basic starter cards and stuff with all the all the things. Oops, excuse me. All the things. 52. So I do want to try that um, Hero Realms Dungeons. I want to try the co-op stuff too now, I suppose. The co-op campaigns? Yeah. Yeah. So, Steph, I did sign up for your event at Tantrum Con, but then I realized there was only one ticket, and then I felt bad, so I unsigned up. 
Yeah, she she only got the one ticket. Both of I this... told her she could do it. It'd be fine. Yeah, I I know. I I signed up for a few events by myself. Well, not by myself, but is this the only card that stays with me? It's not this one, right? Or does this one stay with me too? Oh yeah, that one does. Yeah. Um, there we go. One is your character card, which I don't, I don't know if you really need it out to remind you who you are. And then there's two of the special abilities for your character, which yeah, I forgot that part. I forgot there was two. Which I'll put these right here. And I have to shuffle these, correct? Um. Yes. Yeah, so you, we each have a starting hand. Five gold. Two rupees and four, your special cards. I have six gold. Why do I have six gold? One, two, three, four, five, five. Good no. <laughs> time. I was like, uh, stuff can make me for Grande work the event. I only have five starting gold. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let me read this real quick. Just, I thought we I, had these set up to where we can just play. I'm pretty sure down. I do. Um, and then right. I have three throwing knives. We know how to play. We just need to know how to set up. Set up. That's probably the beginning. Um. Well, this is for the marketplace. Uh, place sixteen fire gem cards in a single stack. Each player shuffles their personal deck and places it face down. But what do we put in it? Okay. Contains a short sword, a dagger, a ruby, and seven gold. So we're both short. So you have an extra ruby. <laughs> I don't know how we set I that up last time. We had these set up correctly. One, two, three. I thought four, so five. too. One, two, three, four, five. I have two rubies. Yeah. Oh. You know why I would have two. And then I have three throwing knives because we do have special Yeah, cards. the special cards. The uh, the fighter gets the throwing axe, I believe. Um, so does, like, the, the beef start with something? Yeah, so the cards... The cards that are special have, like, this little icon in the middle. Okay, shuffle the, the other cards. Two rubies, three throwing knives, and five gold to create my ten-card personal deck. My card says that specifically. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, I'm pretty sure I had them right. I'm trying to find it. it. It's the back of one of um, yeah, your so special cards. You begin the game with 60 health. The fighter character, the shoulder bash and the crushing blow is the ability cards. Mm -hmm. So I get a ruby, shield bearer, throwing axe, long sword, and six gold. To so, create your 10 card personal deck. So do you have too many gold still though? I thought you said you had 7 gold. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gold. Okay. So, it's so one, you're not supposed two, to have a ruby? Three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, I think it's supposed to. Yeah, it says ruby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, it's all good. Okay. I, I was I was really concerned because I was like, I'm pretty sure when we got these games I uh yeah, it's I all made good. sure they were right. Yeah. yeah, we got it. Made me nervous. So I'm probably going to use my calculator to calculate my health instead of doing the card thing because that's finicky. Don't they have an app or something? I'm um, do this one. I think there, I think there's an app, but I mean a calculator will work. <laughs> it works just fine. All right, so just like always, I believe five cards are what you draw at the. Um... What do we put in market? So I need to know. Okay, market. Yeah, how many cards? Okay, so that's the fire gems, or where and they're that's... supposed to be. Yeah, need to know how many cards go. I think it's four. But I yeah, could be wrong. so finally leave a space next to the market deck for a sacrifice pile with yeah. some cards. And then each player shuffles their personal deck. Yeah. Determine. Uh, 
should be in that setup thing right there. Yeah, I'm looking. As a looking. Hang on. I'm not trying to take it away from you, but I can count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two. Oh, did I not jump on your screen? Three. All okay. green. Yeah, I gotta reshuffle because that is literally all green. Yeah, there's more green here. All right. Let me try that again. Here, you shuffle this half. Steph, do you need me to help with the event? <laughs> I mean, I will. Yeah. I'm not gonna not help. Well, I mean, you can take stuff out to her car and stuff last yeah, year too. I mean, I'm I'm fine to help you guys with whatever you need. I'm I'm cool. What help did that? I mean, if you need me to be the bouncer in case people start getting all rough and stuff, I can do that too. Just kidding. That's not gonna happen at Tantrum Con. Never mind. Never. We don't know. We didn't think people were gonna be stealing that Tennessee game day either. Bang! Did it? See, that was easy. <laughs> it All was right. totally easy. One. I'm just saying. Like, I'll, I'll do it. It's, it's... Okay, check for. I'm fine. Fine. Okay. Okay. Do you need any room for your cards, or yeah, you good I'm over good. there? Okay. I just gotta shuffle my deck now. All right, so we've got the Rot, Death Touch, Spark, Varric the Necromancer. He's too hunky to be a necromancer. I like hunky. See, just too much hunks. And then Word of Power, which is a spell. We've got a death touch which costs one. You may sacrifice a card in your hand or discard a pile. Did you tell me how many cards we're supposed to draw up? Or um how many or our hand? Sorry. Um our hand I believe is five cards. It's not in the setup at all. It's how to play. Um you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. It should be like the first few words though. No, it's not actually. <laughs> okay. I think it I think it has to go if go all the mm. I hate when these rules are like Hello in, Scary Movie Society. Yeah, yeah, five cards. You make me Two, doubt four, my four, five. Doubt remembering the rules. Okay, so look, five, five, there. We don't need it for next time. Five there, five here. Because we had to look it up so we know what to do. Okay. Two, three, four, five. My hand here. Hello, Baz. How are you? All right, so who is going first? Do we roll a die? What? You. Me? Okay. Put this right here. I'll leave my player deck here and my discard would be right up here. Mm -hmm. right, like I said, I'm not going to use this. I'll just use a calculator, but I'll just go ahead and put this here. Yep. All right, so I've got two, three, four gold. I can buy the rot. I can buy death touch and the rot. Buy the spark. Uh, ooh, you may sacrifice a card in your hand or discard pile. The rot seems really good. It, I last time we played this, I didn't have enough card removal, mm. so I think I'm gonna buy this one, which is gonna go in my discard pile here. We'll replace that one with orc grunt. I should have bought death touch first. <laughs> Should have bought the death touch first. Um. All right, I'll just go ahead and get it. So that's all four. You have four. Yep. Oh man, what is it? all these guys coming out? And then I'm gonna hit you for 
five. Um, if playing this card would give you seven or more combat this turn, draw a card. It does not. You said five, correct? Yes. Five damage. Okay. And then I will draw back up to five. Yeah. Which is my whole entire deck. It is your goal. I was just trying to see how the stream works because I have my my thing down. Hey, legends. Hello, legends. How are you doing? Yuck. Two, three, four, five. My one. Elven gift. Eating a po Two. poke bowl right now. Oh, what kind? Um, and two. Then I do. This doesn't count unless I'm playing another one. It doesn't count for itself, correct? Um, plus two for each knife you've already played this turn. No. So it's only the one? Yeah. Okay. So I'm at 59. Mm, that's one away from your health because I don't know what your health is because we started different ones. Tofu, broccoli, kimchi, all over rice. Ooh. Uh, I don't know why I counted that out. That was boom. Okay. So I've got a shield bearer. So I'm going to put that right over my player icon because it has guard, so okay. it needs to take damage first. Yep. And I've got one, two, three, four coin. Four gold. We should probably get uh, those bowls in my origins. Or origins, a tantrum con. There's probably a bowl placed somewhere near that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, hmm. What can I get for four? I, I have, might want to get some fire gems. I feel like getting two of those would help a lot. Get rid of these golds, too. So that's what I'll do. I'll get, um, I'll get two of those. So, it's one and two. Oh, look at that. Wow. That does look really good. Is your turn. Yep. So we have this really cool but expensive place over here that does um, um, real ramen bowls. I'm talking about the whole thing with the egg, the meat. Well, I mean, that's what ramen is, though. Yeah, and they give you a giant bowl of it. It's like We have a few huge. places, and they're like right by each other, too. It's crazy. Um, we've only eaten there once because it's so expensive. It is, for three of us, it cost um, close to... Oh, I thought you were talking about the other restaurant. No, no. It was a, it was a little over $50 for three of us. No. Yeah. All right, I'm heading you. Two, three, four, five. I'm heading you for uh, two, four... Is that right? Or is it for each knife I play? So would it be two, four, six? Um, how much is it? Plus two? Two. So for that each would be knife. that would be six because they they both play off of each other. Okay. So two, four. I'm hitting him for six. All right. So one of them you want to hit me with the shield, and the other one you're gonna hit me with. Yeah. The three. three. All right. So one of them is gonna take the whole brunt of it. Shield. Three goes to you. Okay. Yeah, I was just I was just making sure that, that was okay. what it was first. Uh, the place I got to here is just over fifty bucks for three people having. Yeah, I I thought that was typical. We didn't have it in Virginia. Um, um, but all the ramen places around here are like that. That other place that we went to was like that too. Yeah. 
Um, so I have five to spend. Which... I mean, Ooh. I have four to spend, sorry. Four? Torn between that one and that one. And I think I'm just going to take this one for three. And then see if something comes out for one, which it does not. No. Okay. So uh, I have a coin left over that I can't use. Okay. And I shuffle. Uh, okay. I'm going to shuffle this way. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is play ruby, gold, and fire gem. So that's two, four, five. I'm going to purchase Varric the Necromancer, the hunky vampire undead awakener. His super hot. Um, the death cultist comes out. So that's all of my coin. Oh boy. I could have done more damage. But it's still early game, so I'm going to play uh, the Rot. It's four damage. You may sacrifice a card in your hand or discard pile. What's in my discard pile? No. <laughs> no. It came out too early. Yeah. Um, I could have sacrificed the gold here, but then I wouldn't have been able to buy uh, the Hunk Demon there. Yeah. However, I'm going to play Rot and Throwing Axe. It does not bring me uh, past 7, so you just take 6. What was the 7 part about? If it, if playing this card um, brings uh, will give you 7 more combat, then I draw a card. Oh, okay. So I'm at 47, so now I'm at 41. We you know your game is shown King of 12. What is this here? Um, uh, yeah, because yeah, I'll turn it off. we were playing King of 12 earlier. Yes, we played it. It was played. That was game uno. I like how Time Roller does that thing. Time Roller is his own Mubak. Because our bot does random things it's not supposed to. Time we don't need bot. to have anything up. Okay. That's just when we're doing our main game thing. Alright, I took my damage. Yay, time roller bot. Tom butt. One, two, three, four, five. Do it. Spark. Damage. Target discards card. Okay. Throwing knife. So this is still only one because it's only one throwing knife, correct? Yes. Okay. They bought my channel. Is new studio intern. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> okay. One more. You got that. Three, four. Four? Yeah. <clears throat> and then I have four to spend. I know Mubot's still saying King of Twelve. But yeah, every it's no, every I time someone know. says, hey, it, the thing says King of Twelve, and then Mubot goes, hey, it's King of Twelve. It's like it listened. Ooh, that's a great board game. Board All game. week. That's why they... That's why you named yourself Legends. I'm gonna spend three. <clears throat> buy this one. So I've been planning on doing oh, a um, an RPG uh, locally, uh, based in the uh, universe of The Last of Us. So it's gonna be it, it, it's gonna be the lore of the universe and with our own sort of thing going on and I want to make it to where it's not just a one-shot every time we play but it's sort of a 
you know, a const a continuing sort of thing. It's not um, RPG. It's well, yeah. I don't want it to be just a one shot thing. Yeah. So whatever we did, um, in the last game is going to affect things later on, in, you know, in the story. Um. So have you posted about it in their Discord yet? Yeah, no, I have not. But I'm trying to figure out a system to use. Um, for it. For, for a survival type deal because it's going to be mostly a survival and well, first i would post about to make sure you have interest in it before yeah. you go buying stuff that's my only suggestion no i'm not i'm not talking about buying anything i'm trying to use um systems and sort of make my own in a way i'm not trying to make it too stu stupid complex why well, not? You were looking at the one that we're currently yeah. watching. So Outbreak Undead is is one of the ones that I was watching. I'm trying to learn the mechanics and the rules of that, and sort of mix it in with, you know, other stuff like Pathfinder. Yeah, but you don't want to mix too many together, do you? No, no, no. Because Pathfinder is super complicated D and D. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But I like some aspects of Pathfinder. Um, and I think some of it would work as far as combat goes for The Last of Us. You're going to have to have a super simple it's rule gonna, book drawn up. Yeah, too. it's going to be super simple. I'm going to keep it basic. It's going to be more story oriented. I, I said the same thing, Time Roller. I was like, we played Zombie World. Yeah, we have Zombie World. <laughs> yeah. We played it with Time Roller. So I have two gold. Yeah. I like gold. That's not right there. Um, well, I mean, you've been oh, collecting okay. red. I'll get the cultist. Um, and I do like the rules for Zombie World. Yeah, I mean, why I just, not just use something you're familiar with to make your own thing, yeah, too? But because that's not just a one shot. No, it's not. But Zombie World uses cards and stuff, and I want to use some sort of dice and stats that yeah. can you know bump up your you should just use outcomes. Uh, the kids game they can color their own little zombies like i want a system where your stats aren't rolled like a dnd &D stat like like strength is 15 or something like that i don't want that system i want it to where whatever you're wearing is going to be what your armor is or, or it's going to be, you know, what makes you faster or slower Isn't as far as D &D stealth or stuff though? like that. No, D&D &D uses stats. Well, I know you use stats, but if you get, like, uh, a chest plate from the king, it gives you, like, plus two to your strength. Yeah, so see, I'm trying to sort of meld different things that work with a survival RPG and not make it super complicated. Like, I want certain weapons to be certain dice so that way you get a better you know damage output <laughs> hey sea otter that's a cool hello name. yeah we uh we played that very quickly at the beginning and uh i mean technically being a mod i guess i can go in possibly and change the name of the thing yeah yeah but i don't know i mean you could yeah i've heard savage worlds like i said i don't want i don't want anything too complex um i'm sort of oh painted angels as heroes one of my favorites yeah it is one of mine too um so I do two damage plus three. I don't have another red, so I can't do that. So you're taking five. Hey, Panda Angel, what are you doing? One. What are you up to tonight? Two, three, four, five. So yeah, so I want to do it. Ooh, I want to do it locally with our game store. I'm gonna see if they'll let us. Yeah, I can understand that. Let's see if they'll let us stream it as well. Maybe that'll be something cool to do. 
Um, no, they've talked about us streaming this. Yeah. Year, so. But th- that's sort of Legends what... Legends has played through the first block of Campaign of Hero Realms. We're going to try that too. Oh, what happened? Why is my car now? I don't know. <laughs> this is supposed to be my day off, but I'm going to be streaming floppy nights on the Tabletop Gamers Twitch channel. I like to keep busy. I definitely feel that. <laughs> Streaming from a game store would be a great idea. Get people who don't mind playing on camera just to be, uh, just have fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I still have, I know the lore of The Last of Us. I know about Fedra and all the cordyceps and all that stuff. Um, Are you going to, so you say you want to play in the, the world of The Last of Us. I mean, yeah, are so you this... going to have that? Like, you're going to have the infected people? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be there. They're also going to be all the enemies from the game are going to be there. Um, the events of Joel and Ellie in the first Last of Us are going to have already happened. So this is between um, the first story and the second. So it's going to be leading up. I shall be back because I to hear the, things uh, going on. To the second part of that story that is the video games. So I'm hoping to get that set up. I just need to get a system set. Um, I've, got, I've got something in my mind for it. I don't know if it's going to work completely, but like I said, I want it simple, easy to remember, nothing too complex. You know, you find stuff that there. I want to have a scavenging mechanic in there. I just I haven't Hello, figured out how to do it yet. How are you, Corfane? What's up? So if anyone has any ideas on 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 scavenging mechanics in a RPG, you can throw them at me because I am listening. All right, this is what I got. So, I have one for this. This wow. guy goes over here now. So he's part of your crew. And he has guards, so I'll have to hit him first. I get two coin for that, but I also put a green card, so that's four more. So that's five. I am going to tap him for six. Okay. Do I get to recombo that? Yeah, that works, yeah. So that's, okay, that's six. And then I get to draw a card. You need to play that as well. All right, so six damage. Okay. I think that's all the damage. All right. I'm at 46. Okay, we're 10 points apart. Now two, four, six, seven coin. Oh, man, you're one short of that Grok Storm Giant. So what are you mainly co- collecting? Green? Kinda. Well, you have her. You can get rid of my cards. <laughs> and he's got a uh, defense of six. So that's Oh, big. I didn't read this part. You, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. I just took it as the coin. I didn't do it as that. So I didn't draw a card for that. I drew a card for yeah, yeah. that one. I, I got okay. it. Um, ooh, okay, two, four, six, seven. I got seven, or I have seven. Um, I'll use the four for this one. Nice. Oh, another cultist. Um, I'm playing mainly red at this point. Spend the one for this one. Ooh. Spend the two for this one. <laughs> wow. All the cards. Okay. Intimidation. A lot of blue out here. Two, three. Alright, so I haven't been able to use the rot uh, at this point correctly, so. So I'm going to play the rot. 
uh, I may sacrifice a card in my hand or this card pile. I will sacrifice this gold. It's going to go away forever. And you're taking four damage. Sorry. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, to your um, guard there. I'm taking four damage to this? Yeah, straight four. Okay, so there's my discard. There's no splash. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to keep my stuff where I'm, like... Yeah. Got two ones gone on. So that's played. I've got two fire gems, so that's four coin plus a gold, so that's five. What do we have? I don't want to go put too many cards here. So... I need more red. I'm gonna take the Death Cultist. So that's two. I still have three coin. Give me a red three. Oh, that's not a red three. Really. That's taxation. It's taxation. Um. Tell you what. Sweet dreams, Lynn. We will be win. um shipping out your dice bag sometime this week. So make sure you've sent one of us your address, please. Went all in on Marvel Zombies, Castles of Burgundy Special Edition, Marvel United Multiverse. So Ooh. much money. Yeah. I like Marvel United. <clears throat> I'm not terrible on Kickstarters, am I? Oh, no, you're not. You like to get these smaller Kickstarters that are, um, uh, I don't know what the word for it is, but, but you don't like the grand stuff. That yeah, costs hundreds of dollars. I don't have the time or the people. You did? Okay, thank you, Lim. Uh, I don't have the time or the people to play those types of games, so I feel like a $400 game sitting in my house yeah. would not be used. So I'm going to spend two coin to do two damage to you. Okay. So you just take two more. Okay, how many in total? Cause... Just two. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, because you killed that. Yeah. One, two. And that's all I will be able to do. Uh, Savage Worlds is designed for making your own game. You click on the settings, the skills you use, the system you want, and leave everything else out. Great. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you should definitely check that yeah, one. Yeah, I'll check that out. Can you uh, message him that name two times over because we'll forget as soon as the stream is over? I won't forget. <laughs> I've, I've looked um, at some of the systems that they have out there. All right, you ready? I think what I need most, though, is uh, a Interest. a character sheet. I mean, when you're mixing systems, I don't know what you're going to do, because you're going to have to pick a player sheet somehow. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I, I can figure it out. All right, I'm done. All right, so here we go. But I will look at Savage Worlds, because it was recommended... Oh, all the damage. Alrighty. So this is just one. Okay. This is, uh, I get two coin, and I may draw a card. If I do, I have to discard a card. Not doing that. Green and green makes this four, so that's five. Yep. This one is three, so that will be eight. Target discards uh, the card in hand. Card in hand. Okay. That's eight, and because I played it with a green... That's nine ten, so it's ten damage. Okay. All right. And then I have four coin. Four coin. I am going to uh, use the two from this one. See, so otter is old school. You need physical books and paper and pencil. I'm also old school. I I like having everything in front of me. Um, but I I do know that a lot of people that play D and D use like an iPad or some type of tablet just to have their stuff all in one, without the clutter of all the paperwork and stuff. But I do like paper and pencil better. And like I said, I like the system for. Um, Zombie World. I love that it's mainly story based. 
You don't have to worry about any rolling or anything like that. There are cards you flip over that tell you what happens during certain situations. Um, I like that system, but I, I need something deeper for a, you know, survival type deal where you're scavenging, you're fighting, and it's not going to be where people take damage and be okay later because these are these are infected with you know a fungus <laughs> so they're it's really bad if you do get hurt or get bit i'm using these two coins to tap to heal three target this card's another card mm, i don't know what this card is i was trying to wait until you were done <laughs> That's why I said that you need to make a message on Discord and our game group to see if people are interested in how they play. Because if you get five people that want to play, but then they're like, oh, well, I don't like the way this plays out, or I don't like this gaming system, or I don't like whatever, then you're down players again. There's a lot of people in there looking for a DM for like you know, D&D and stuff right now, and nobody's DMing, or people are DM DMing too much and not willing to take on more people. Mm. So that's an idea that you should probably do. Because I know you're excited about doing this, but if you get excited and you write this cool story and you can't do it, then that's going to suck. Well, well, the way that I... The way I DM is mainly you guys are making the story. Like, I just have an objective and little bits in between. Yeah, but you need, need to you find to an to. audience first before... I mean, remember when you did all the cool stuff for D&D &D and then we played like two weeks in Virginia and then we never played again? That sucked because I really liked that story and everything we were doing, but then we didn't have a game group again. I don't want to go through that again. That part blew. Remember, it took me like two weeks to make a character. <laughs> yeah, I was no. so excited to use her that I couldn't. I mean, you've played more D and D than I have, so yeah. I've got all champions. <laughs> That's all, all champions. I have. I've got okay. a shield bear. I've got back the necromancer. So it's like I'm not hitting you for a while. So because of this, I get to draw a card. See, I don't like you not using your card because I have no idea how much health you have right now. I have 36. You just asked me. I know, but right now it shows me you have zero health. Because I'm, I'm dead on the inside. Mm. Hey, I got a ruby. <laughs> That's just not going to get me much of anything. I, I, just, I guess I'll just use it. Oh, I should have prepared that one up. I guess I'll just use this to do two damage. Um, use this guy to do two damage. Uh, and I will tap Varric to take a champion from my discard pile and put it on the top of the deck. So I'm taking four right now. Uh, two, four, yes. What's that there? Coin. No, this. What is this? this? That's eight damage that I'm not using yet. He just stays out there. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's one of those things that once you use it, it goes away. One, two, three, four. It's a champion though. Yeah. No, it's not a champion. It's, it's, it's an ability. It's a skill that I've got. Oh, okay. It's a one-time. I was like, "What the heck is that?" All right, so I so that's I that. Do believe I ready everything? So you do at the beginning of your turn. The beginning of my turn? Yeah, I think that's that's better. yeah. We'll do it at the beginning. Okay. Okay. Nobody can ever see what I play because the table's too small. Um, oh, wait, I forgot. Um, I had it zoomed in for um for the other one for the the first game. I could zoom it back out. Ooh. 
Not by much, but it's something. Alright, so I played a new champ. That's a That scared me. Uh, I played a new champion, so I put her up there. She is green, so... Oh God, there's so much happening. Alright, I'm, I'm... Okay. Target opponent discards a card because I played a green. Okay. And because I played a green, this is four damage. Four damage. Four damage? Mm-hmm. Total? Yeah. But wouldn't that just knock out one of your cards? Um, yes. The, that'll knock out my shield bearer. I don't need to choose which one I'm attacking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you choose which one. Now, these two are guards. This one just lets me pick out a champion. What's the tapping ability? To uh, take a champion from the from the discard and put it on top right, of my deck. Get rid of this one. Okay, so it's got those. Okay, so that was the damage. All right, so I have. If I tap that one, I have two points. Okay, I'm gonna tap this one for the two to be able to tap this one. Which target discards a card and I gain three health. One, two, three. I have seven coin to spend after that. Ah, uh, he looks chunky. So that's six. Yeah, but it's just chunkies for seven. Got on the step. Oop. Oop. Michael says, I'm older school. I need tales passed down through stories and stone chisel. <laughs> Michael, you're not that old. Yeah, you really aren't. You're like Drew old. I'm old. He got old man. Syndrome. Michael, we get to play games soon. Okay, so another death cultist comes out. Um, throwing axe. So that's two day. Oh no, not that one. Death touch. You may sacrifice a card in your hand or discard pile. I most certainly will. Discard this gold. Get Make sure you're keeping it with your stuff and not just... I am. Okay. It's, it's there by itself. So that's two plus two because of the red card that are out here. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I can activate this, which will let me draw a card. Mm -hmm. Which will give me one coin, which is nothing. So that's two, four, six... Seven, eight, and because that does over seven damage, I get to draw a card. And because of this, I already drew a card, but I have to shuffle my deck now. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> you said eight damage. Oh, I forgot to take out my my champion. Hold on. It's gonna go on top of my deck. Hmm. Yeah, so it's eight damage so far. Okay, well I have a guard of six or a uh, champion of six, so you gotta do the thing. No, I don't have to hit him. No? No. Why? Because there's the the keyword guard is not there, so I can bypass that and you just go straight oh. to you. Alright. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh? I don't remember that was the thing. That's what guard means. Guard means you have to attack this first. Did I get rid of a guard when I killed it then? You did, but because of... Because I had this one in my hand. I have two of these. Okay, I'm just asking. I couldn't remember if I got rid of a guard or not. You did, yeah. And this one's a guard too? No. So I couldn't have taken that one out? Because you, I would have to no, take a guard out you, first? You yeah, you have to take guards out first. So I couldn't have taken that one out. Right. Okay. Well, I just can't read the cards from here. So, so that's why to... I took the shield bearer away first because it had guard on it, but I forgot that I had guard on it. Yeah. Too. Okay, so it's a whole mess of things here. So I can't use my extra coin. I can't use my one coin to use this because it takes two coin. Yeah. Um, 
You just so gotta tell me damage. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yes. What are you up to right now? Thirty-six minus eight. And there's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight? a lot of stuff going on. I, I wish I knew how much health you had, but you're not using the cards. I'm at 36. You didn't take your health off from when I hit you last time? You you hit my um. That's all my I guard. did? Yeah. You were only doing four damage and you hit my guard. That one I bought. Okay. I I thought I did more than that. I mean, you got rid of a whole bunch of cards from my hand. If that means anything. Dupe. Dupe. What's that card on top of your discard? What does it do? Wait, where did Varric go? Where the hell did Varric go? Where did all my cards go? Definitely not in here. Did I get rid of my... Why did Varric go away? He didn't die. This guy didn't die. These are my discard. Why did those go away? I don't know. You know what? I pulled them away because I thought they were regular cards. <laughs> okay. So which one of those is a guard? Uh, this and this. Okay. So you, with your damage, you can do either one. That goes out. I have this, so that's one damage. I'm gonna trash this for three damage, so that'll be four. Oh, you can trash a card from your hand and do. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Four. Then right. Who do you want to do four damage to? One of the ones I can physically take out. Okay, well, you choose Shield Bearer or the Coldest. Okay, well, okay. Pretend I just played this card. Three. Okay, three damage. Which one? The shield. I don't think it really matters. Alright, now I have another one of damage. Plus, I'm going to tap this for two more damage. So that's your other guy. This guy? Yeah. Then I have two coins. Uh, Took out my army. Then I'm going to tap this for two coins. And I'm gonna use do I use two of those coins to heal? What's out there to buy? I'm gonna use two of those coins to heal three. So twenty-eight, twenty-nine, not thirty one? Wait, what was that? Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Isn't that thirty? I believe so. 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that's hill and three. So I use the two card or two coin for that, and then I got two coin. I'm just gonna buy another one of these. And that's that. One, two. Okay, day. Uh, play rot. So that's. Four damage. You have the guards out. Is that a guard? No. Champion. Uh, no, no. Pickpocket. Uh, champion. So I may sacrifice a card. Yes, the gold is going to go away. So what's the point of having champions besides the fact that they could block, but they don't technically block? Well, because they do, they do special abilities. 
So just because she's a guard of six. It's not a guard. She just has a because she can six. defend six, she technically can't defend six. She can't. It takes six to remove her from the field. If I don't like the ability that she's giving you, then I can choose to attack it and get rid of it. So you're going to choose to attack me, attack, attack a champion, or attack a guard. But don't you have to get rid of guards? Guards are required guards. to be dealt with first. before. So if I had a guard out, you would have to kill that one first, and yes. then you would have to have six more health to kill her. Yeah, if I wanted to. Okay. Guards are exactly what it sounds like. They stand in front of you and take the damage. It just kind of... I mean, I know we've played this like a million times, but it still kind of sucks that she's a six, but like... She gives me two coin. Cool. Yeah, but I I have to get rid of a card. If, if you got if another I play green, a green. One. yeah. yeah. All right, so I've got another cultist, and I've got two coin plus two coin. So you're getting four, and because I have another red card, I'm gonna get to draw a card because of this. It's another coin. Two, four, five. Ooh, sorry. I think I'm going to use this coin to buy Rayla Endweaver, another mm -hmm. champion. Uh, influence action. Ooh. So that's all of my coin. Two, four, well, but one. Mm -hmm. All right, so I drew a card. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going to play this, tap this to take a champion from the discard pile and put it on top of your deck. I'm going to take Rayla, put it her on top. Okay. You're getting four damage plus three, so seven, eight, nine. Okay, so 30 minus nine is uh, 20, uh, no, 30 minus nine. Yeah, it's 21. 21. Okay, so these all go away. I'm going to make sure not to take away my champions. Because that's what happened last yeah, time. Yeah, because like, I don't know when I'm actually killing things when you take everything away and then you bring things back out. Alright, so there's my four cards. I get to reshuffle my discard. This game can take a while. Two, four, six. That's six damage there, but. All right, do one at a time because I do have a guard. I, know. I have one guard. So this one's technically three, right? That's three. So you're taking out my cultist. Yeah. Okay. And then the other one for another three. Okay, you're choosing to yeah. attack. Okay. Three. Alright, so that's done. See, you didn't like his ability, so... <clears throat> no, I just don't want you to have cards out there. <laughs> that way, you don't have to get confused. I don't get confused. Alright, so... Two. Alright, so... I get two coin. I get the combo, because it's red. So this is four damage. I get... Put Wait, them. combo what? You, you, you get the combo because it's green. Green. You say combo because it's red. Green, whatever. Okay, and I'm guessing I'm gonna remove a card from my hand. What? No. Why? Uh, no. Because of this. I I haven't done that yet. Let me do it in order. You don't even have to tap it. I I'm aware of that, but okay. I have right. a million cards to play. Okay. Keep track. So of it's it. four. Yes. Tap it this one. For another two. And you get to draw That's a card. That's six. I get to draw a card. Yes. I need to shuffle. That's your discard pile? Yeah. You keep your discard pile face down? Why wouldn't I? It's usually face up for me. No, oh, some people keep it face down. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just a card. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, God. You're going to just 
Okay. Murder me now. So four, five, six. I did this ability. I did this ability. I still have two coin from this. Um, get to trigger this. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Target discard the card. Just discard two cards. Okay, two of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that card removal 12, 13, is brutal. 14, 15, 16. Okay, that's 17, 18. Target discards another card. And I get two more coin. Okay. I know I have nothing. <laughs> I have two cards in my hand. So these two coin. I like those these cards. These two coins do this, which makes me heal three. One, two, three. I like those cards because you can that. choke someone out of having cards. And it sucks for the other player because they're like, well, two, what the hell? Three. Especially three, since I've been... Two. You know, discarding or trashing cards because of my rot card. And then I'm gonna buy this one for two. Did you have enough to pay to mm -hmm. heal? Okay. Yeah, two. Okay. Uh, I had other. I had coins in my hand. Help. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> Did Here's... you take all the damage? Because I don't know what damage you have. You took out my dudes. That that was all though. What what damage did you do? Uh, two, four. So it was sixteen, uh, wasn't it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. Uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. How many cards did you use? <laughs> A lot, but then I took out. This game's gonna be a mulligan because. No, I'm taking twenty. It's fine. But I killed people, so you wouldn't be taking twenty. That's why I said sixteen. It's fine. I'll take twenty. It's fine. I'm I'm as confused as Th you. That's right now. why these cards are in the game, so people can see what. We've been in and out of this have. afternoon, but just. Tune into here. Mm. You can choke someone out. I'm about to. <laughs> really? There's yeah. there's a lot of upkeep in this game. There's it's, not because there's cards that tell you what the health is. I have a card that tells me what the health is. It's right here. I feel like this is going to be a me me game. No, not for me. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. I feel like I've taken more damage. Then that's why I play this online. <laughs> yeah. I I just feel like I've given you more damage a few times than I have, but I don't I don't know because of the cards. Well every time you've done damage we've it's checked normally we've checked to see because I've had a lot of cultists and guards that have come out. Like I took out three so, cards that turn. You did. You so took that out. would have been like three, six, nine damage there, I believe. Um, because I think they were all like three. Yeah. So. So I, you wouldn't have taken sixteen in damage or eighteen in damage or whatever you took. So I'm just gonna do three damage to your orc guard. This one. Yes, and that's all I got. I'm going to keep my discard face up since you said something about it. So people know. That's all I have. I have two cards. You, you basically tore all the cards out of my hand. Um, okay. I'm going to flip all these back around. This game can get really brutal. Like there's a there's a point that's where that's why I like play cards one at a time so I know when things are combo and, and I yeah. know when to take things away. There's a point in this game where you don't even look at the market anymore because you're so comfortable with the hand you or the deck you've built right now. So for me, I'm just 
I'm just waiting to die. <laughs> I played a blue this turn, so I get two points. Okay, what do you have out? Let me start with that. I have a shield bear and Rayla. Okay. Rayla is not a guard. Who, who's the four one? Rayla. Okay. But I have to take out the guard first. Yes. It requires three damage. All right, taking out the guard. Okay. This card is taken out. The other one. That one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have two coin off of that one. Okay. I didn't play any green, so I can't do this this turn. But I have two coin, three, four. I don't have any of that. Four, five, six. Seven, eight coin. You've got enough to get Grok. Um, I'm hitting you for ten da or two damage. Two damage. I heard ten first. Yeah, I said two first. Um, all right. How many coin? I'm gonna use this two coin to do this, which helps me heal three. One, two, three. Then okay, so I use that one. Then I have those two. These two. So I have six. Um, I'm gonna spend these two for this one. Okay. Close ranks. That one's a good card if you can get uh these two get these uh cards in sync synergy i only have one white card right now yeah. and i only bought it because it was one coin i mean you can get you can get some hellacious healing from a whole bunch of these too so yeah yeah the one i have is it's great for healing but i didn't have enough coin okay, for it this time so there's, i've got three coin uh, i've got my Cultist back out again just to die. Playing Death Touch. The sacrifice a card in your hand. I'm not even going to play this. I'm going to sacrifice it. So that's two damage plus two because I have another red card. Two, four. Do you have another guard out? Oh, this one's a guard. You do have a guard out. Two, four, six. So it takes him out completely? I assume that's what you're having to do? Yes. So that's six damage all done. Okay. And then two damage to you. And I'm going to use this two coin to do two more damage to you. Then I'm going to discard my crushing blow to do eight damage. Fifteen for people that suck at math like me. There you go. <clears throat> All right. It's a close game. I don't expect. I don't know what you're at. I'm at fourteen. I don't expect to uh, to win this one because you have some crazy cards going on. Oh, you're reshuffling already. Crap. Okay. Yeah, I've I've called my deck of all those. Well, it sucks gold. because I have a card that on my turn. Uh, this turn you may acquire a card from an opponent's discard pile by paying its cost, but you keep having to shuffle before <laughs> I want something. Or don't want something just yeah. to take it away. So that part kind of sucks. Alright. Oh, Green. So, two coin. 
hit you for four. Uh, and, guard takes four. Yeah. Okay. Target discard card. Okay. Will do. I was supposed to make you discard another card last time too. Shit. Um, hitting you for two. Okay. Like you physically. Okay. Tapping, At twelve. Tapping this in pain to make you discard another card. I heal three. One, two, three. Mm. Two, four, six. Oh man, kind of want to get the big one. I'm just gonna spend the six to get this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because even if I don't use the white power, I could still just discard it for five yeah. damage. Command. This one's a good one. Not only do you get two coin, but you get three attack. You heal four, and you draw a card. Oh, I technically still have two more coin if I wanted to, but I'm not tapping this one, I guess. Okay. Because I don't want to get another thing. All right. All right, not much going on on my end, so I'm going to ready up my peoples. I've got another death cultist coming out. Katie Cat, if you uh, want to tell me what your uh, hero realm's name is and... Discord or, or somewhere, I will play with you online as well. I also have that app. You do too, still, right? Yeah, I still have it. Okay, so I brought out my cultist. I got the rot going. Um, That's nasty. It is super nasty. It's gross. <laughs> that gross. I've got the rot. So it's four damage. I may sacrifice a card. Nope. Since you're sacrificing them for me. Yeah, I'm helping. Yeah, so four. Plus this is three because of that. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you have any guards at all? No, mm. no guards this time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna use the two coin to ten, eleven, and trash this for fourteen. So eighteen minus fourteen is four. Yes. My Steam is the same name. Try to use Kitty Cat for everything, but I'll post it again on Discord later once I check. Okay. Um, there is a friend code on Steam that you can easily send to if, if that's a something you want to do. Well, we're just trying to play the game together. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying um, it has like friend codes just like the Nintendo does. Stuff like that. But I don't play it on Steam, and it's cross-platform. I play it on a mobile app. Oh, okay. I haven't really known that as much. Yeah, I, I definitely understand that. I play, I don't really play solo, but I definitely play a lot with strangers online because I'm here all day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Could you tell me your health, please? Uh, 12. Plus 3, technically, because of the guard that I gotta take out first. I guess, if you want, technically. Alright, guard's gone. No! I'll be back. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, um, 3 damage. 3 damage. I'm at 9. Tap two to heal. Target discards. One, two, three, seven. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die this turn. Um, just for funsies, I will. This is risky, but I'm gonna discard this. For funsies, I will oh, wait. Three. Yeah, I have three coin. How much is that? How much is what? How much does that cost? 
This? Yeah. This has no cost. It's one of my special cards. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I'll buy this for three. All right, kitty cat. Have fun. All right, Let's lurk away, and thank you for hanging out. Friends play with us. Um, get into the board game. Community Twitch has certainly made playing with three minutes of our systems. Yeah. Like I said, I stay at home most of the time. Um, we go out the game probably once a week. But I'm always up for BGA or whatever. Want. Four, five. Is this something you keep out or? Yeah. Okay. It's my player card. This turn you may acquire a card from the. You have to trash it to use that. I'm aware. Yeah. Just like it, you know. it's one of my cards that sticks yeah, out all the time. I know. Yeah, it's a, a one-time use thing. Okay. Like yours that you yeah. already used. So I've got... Oh, I should probably do this. Uh, Ooh, Wolf okay. Shaman. So I've got two coin. Uh, I've got a long sword. So that's three attack. Um, three, four, five. I'm going to use the coin to... Do seven damage. I only have seven. And then I'm gonna play a throwing axe. If playing this card would give you seven or more combat this turn, draw a card, and it does. Cool. I only have seven. And See, play one because more coin. of this, it shows you have seven. So that's two, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Yeah, I'm dead <laughs> because my my card says I have seven. Okay, my card says I have zero. Nine. <laughs> so yeah. you technically have nine right now. I, I want to see if I would have survived if I would have been able to. So it would have been two here. So that would have been four, five, six, um, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I would have killed you. Yeah, yeah, that would have Because I was going to discard that for another five if I had Ooh, to. That's that's one hand too late. Yeah. Well, most of the time I don't win this, so. But this one was close. It was really close. Right, let's see. Where are the stuff I need for my hands? This one. So another epic game of Hero Realms. I do want to try the. Um, the campaign stuff, maybe uh, maybe if they got anybody selling them at Tantrum Com, we'll buy some. I do want to check out the Dungeons um, Kickstarter too. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that one. Um, All right, so that is it for today. I'm gonna send you somewhere good, so hang out for a second. Uh, let me check to see who is live right now. Um. Board game house, board gamer mama, tabletop gamers, which is where Amanda Panda is currently. Uh, board game house is sort of local to us. I mean, not South Carolina local, but localish to us. Localish. They're um, I I followed them for a while, but uh, Wacky Tabaxi does shout outs for them a lot too. I'm not sure they're doing a D and D thing right now though, so like, Ooh. and it's like chapter ten, so you probably don't want to go in in the middle of that. Yeah, go right in the middle of the story. Yeah. Like I said, um. Board Game and Mama is doing Nancy Drew stuff, and Tabletop Gamers has Amanda on playing Floppy Nights, which I'm not sure what that is. Floppy Nights. I don't know either. <laughs> sure, it's family friendly. Yeah, with Amanda, Amanda there. Amanda's there. Yeah. So, let's go raid in the stream that Amanda's in. Um, how do you spell their... T A B L E T A B L E T O P T O P G A Y 
B A Y M E R S C R S. All right. We met them, at, or I met them at Origins, and that's where I have my little thing on my yeah. Origins bag. Oh, yeah. a valid username. Okay, let me try. Oh, well, you, it's not, it's... Table? I got it. You said uh, T-A-B-L-Y, right? How do you read? Oh, there we go. Read. Don't you know I heard? I don't know. Does say gamers or gamer? S at the end. You told me S. Okay. Hey, right, we're gonna take you to uh, tabletop gamers. They What's are that? playing floppy night. Uh, apparently, I cannot. T a b l e t o p g a y m e r s. Yeah, you said T a b l y for me. <laughs> This. Okay, I mean, you can try again, but I I just typed it twice. Oh, boy. T-A-B-L-E-T-O-P. Tabletop. And then Gamers. G-A-Y-N-E-R-S. Why is rating so hard? Uh, oh, raid okay. settings do not allow you to raid at this time. That's why. Oh. Well, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> No, we gotta go somewhere. No, we don't. I tried. <laughs> I mean, we can just read um the or the D and D one. Board game house. Exactly how it sounds. No, no craziness. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna go hang out with board game house. Who's doing some D and D stuff? And valid username. What is happening? Wow, I we, we just cannot rate today. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh wow. <laughs> oh gosh. there we go. <laughs> Finally. That's why I was like, I'm done. I'm done with today because of how I feel. <laughs> and it was just not going anywhere. Me, 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 me. Yeah. Um, exactly. You try having a uter, see how you feel. <laughs> I mean, I have you, that's enough. Yeah. Alright, let's go hang out with Board Game House, who's doing some D&D stuff. Uh, we'll check you guys out later, I believe, uh, next time we do anything is, is on what, Wednesday. Like January, the, the 78th day of January, because it's, January's been so it's long. It's February. I know. Because January was so long, it's still January, apparently. It's February 6th, and we'll see you on Wednesday for another game. Do you know what I'm playing? Absolutely not. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it does not surprise me either. But we're going to be playing a game. Bye, so, Game Roller. So we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good night. I'm ready now. <laughs>